Hi and welcome to this tutorial on introduction to WordPress. WordPress is now the most popular platform on the planet for website builds with about 20% of all websites being built using WordPress and the reason for this is because it's free uh, which makes a great start for your business. You can use it for commercial websites without having to pay anything at all. The other good selling point is you don't need to know HTML to build your website. Um, you can not even don't need to know how to code or to develop software. Um, it's really straightforward to get up and running. It's widely available as you'd expect. Most uh, hosting companies uh, will be able to provide you with a package uh, with WordPress. Um, so it's really simple. You don't need to know technically how to install it. Um, so you can just go to any hosting company and say I'd like to set up a WordPress website and most should be able to help you. Uh, it's also available as a pre-installed uh, hosted solution at wordpress.com. Um, now this isn't to be confused with other WordPress installations and other WordPress uh, uh, setups. WordPress.com is a place to go to just start your WordPress website. But, however, there are some restrictions when using WordPress.com and one of the major restrictions of WordPress.com is you cannot actually add what's called plugins. So you can't extend what WordPress uh, actually does on WordPress.com. The main purpose of the WordPress.com website was to um, uh, provide a place for the use of bloggers uh, having uh, their blogs. And this is why WordPress was originally developed. It was originally de developed for blogging. So people would write their narrative about uh, their daily life, their daily journal, and, um, uh, and that was what it was used for. However, it's evolved and it has grown. Now it's a highly flexible and highly capable platform that you can pretty much do absolutely anything with, uh, from a corporate website to hosting um, your own estate agency with properties, your job listings. Um, you can really do a very wide range of things with WordPress. It's dynamically driven, so that means that uh, it's not just a static website. You can have on there um, dynamic listings of, of content. You can have uh, different uh, things appearing depending on the visitors that are arriving. You can provide search capabilities. Um, so it's, uh, it provides a very engaging and rich experience. Uh, it's known as a content management system. This means that you can put all your content in there and then control how that content is delivered to people and how it's presented. So it's an intelligent system, uh, depending on your users, the way they want to interact with the content and to get it delivered uh, to them. WordPress is made up of a number of different uh, features. One of those really important uh, things that WordPress has is themes. Themes control the style and the presentation of your website, and there are many available. Uh, you can get free themes and you can get premium themes. Um, there's a wide range of support for both types, uh, but obviously uh, the, the more you pay, often the better product you get. Uh, there are also things called plugins, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, plugins are uh, little bolt-ons or sometimes big bolt-ons of functionality that you can add to your website. So you could get a plugin perhaps for a job listing where you could uh, allow people to browse through listings of available positions of companies or your company um, and then select that uh, particular job and maybe, maybe even apply for that job. All of that functionality being delivered through the plugin and there are many hundreds of thousands of plugins available. There are also things called widgets. Uh, widgets are ways to de deliver the same type of content or the same kind of functionality on many different locations within your website. So you may have a little uh, advert maybe on the side of your website uh, which you want to appear everywhere throughout your whole website without repeating the design and you can create a widget that will have that uh, advert in it um, or you could have an, uh, your latest news uh, available in a widget which would appear on the side of your website uh, throughout on every page. And there are lots of widgets that come as standard um, and you can get lots of additional widgets and quite often plugins will provide additional widgets of functionality. So if you've got a calendar widget 
Um, you can have the, uh, your, your events and so on showing on every single page. The other thing provided is menus, the way to navigate around your website is one of the integral parts of WordPress. You can have multiple menus, you can have different menus on different pages, you can have sub-menus. Um, so you've got a very rich design uh, of the way that you can control the navigation of your website. Websites are typically made up of pages, so not everything has to be uh, dynamic. You can have static pages, which are your content, which describes um, maybe your business and your products. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, dynamic, but uh, pages are really just static um, elements or places to put your content into. Uh, and, and pages themselves can have uh, dynamic content on them. And lastly, posts. Uh, and this is really, posts came about originally because of this blogging, uh, but posts are effectively um, a place to write um, content in a, a journal type fashion. So for instance, a news articles would be like a journal. So you could write your news or your updates and they would appear in a chronology. So you could go and say, show me the, uh, the news for last year or last month or um, you could show a portfolio of uh, content according to different categories. So you could have categories of news or categories of journal entries. And uh, this really uh, allows quite a powerful way to actually control and present your information to your site visitors. Well, I hope that's been uh, useful as a quick introduction. Check out our other videos on each of those topics uh, in a bit more detail. And I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.